let us now do this circuit. Um, on this circuit, we have many loops. Ne? Um, we've got this loop A, B, C, D, A, the outside loop. And we've got this loop D, A, C, D. And we've got this one D, C, B. Yes, those are the loops that we have. Um, if we are not given a letter here, that means um, we cannot consider this a loop until they put a letter there, meaning that there is a point there, um, the, the circuit is joined. So in this case, they didn't give us a letter. So on this question, we are asked to calculate the unknown current um, using the outside loop. Note it has a cell and we must use this loop after that, um, which we're going to call loop 2. Again, we still have a cell. We're not asked to use this loop, but even if we were asked to use this loop, we were still going to get um, the same thing. So now let us first make equation for the outside loop, loop one. So on loop one, we have 12 volts. And what else do we have? We've got the current across R8, um, which is I2. Um, so we multiply R8 by 2. What we have again is this resistor. And this resistor we would call R6. The current is still going the same direction as that one. So we're going to add um, that's R6 into I2 minus 0, 0,8. And we've got another resistor R8. R8 still going to the same direction, so we will add. Let's put a plus there. R8, the current across R8 is I1 minus 0, 0,8. We, we now have um, R4. Um, current still going the same direction, R4. Across R4, we've got I1. So let us now substitute. So we have 12 equal to R8 is 8 ohms. I2. Then we've got R6, 6 ohms into I2 minus 0, 0,8 plus R8 is 8 ohms into I1 minus 0, 0,8. We then have plus 4 into I1. This leaves us with, let's try a line here, with 12 equal to 8i2. Here we will have plus 6i2. 6 times 0, 0,8. I don't know the calculator knows that 6 times 0, 0,8 is 4,8. So we'll have minus 4,8. Um, we then have plus 8i1. Um, the calculator knows that 0, 0,8 times 8 is equal to 6,4. So minus 6,4 plus 4i1. So now we have a number here and a number here. So we're going to add these um, 4,8 plus 6,4 is equal to 
um, the calculator says it's 11.2 note that the signs are negative so we keep the sign is negative we then have i2 i2 we have i2 somewhere now so positive plus positive so we're adding so 6 plus 8 is 14 14 i2 um again we have i1 and i1 the signs are positive so that means we will keep the sign in add 4 plus 8 um, that's 12 i1 so so what we will do here is we will transpose or add minus 11 comma 2 so we also gonna add on this side but i don't have space um let me write 11 comma 2 plus so you know that we are adding this ne? 11 comma 2 plus 12 is equal to the calculator says it's 23 comma 2 then these they cancel so we will have 14 i2 plus 12 i1 so this is our first equation for loop one so now let us come to this loop uh, loop two and make the equation loop two must be simple because loop two only has one two three has three resistors we have a cell which is 12 volts equal to let's start with this resistor now r4 i1 the current across this resistor on loop two the current is still going the same direction so we've got r8 and on R8, we will have I2 plus a current across this resistor, um, which is R2. So the current is 0, 0,8. So this makes us have 12 4 times I1 plus. 8 which is this resistor uh, i2 plus r2 is 2 ohms times 0 comma 8 so we'll then have 12 4 i1 plus 8 i2 plus um the calculator knows that 0, 0,8 times 2 is equal to 1,6. So we're going to minus 1,6 and also minus 1,6. Put back the positive sign so this they cancel. So 12 minus 1,6, that's the, it's 10,4. Let me confirm. 1,6. Yeah, the calculator know what I know. 10,4 equal to 4 I1 plus I2. Uh, sorry, there is 8 here. So this is our second equation. If you not, you are not being told which equation. You must use to make the subject of the formula always take the easy one may i like doing it mathematically so on my videos i always make i1 or i2 the subject of the formula so what i will do i will take this to this side so this side will have 10 comma 4 minus 8 i2 equal to 4 i1 so divide both sides by 4, so this, this 4 will divide everywhere. Then we'll have I1. So 
I1, I'm just writing it the other way around. So nothing changes when you do that. Um, we will keep 10 comma 4 divided by 4 minus 8 I2 over 4. So now this is our third equation. We take this and substitute it there. So we substitute I1 there. So here we'll have 23 comma 2 equal to 14 I2 plus 12 into 10 comma 4 minus 8 I2 over 4. Um, what left here is that we must multiply there. So we will have 23 comma 2, 14 I2 plus the calculator knows that 12 times 10 comma 4 is equal to um, 124 comma 8 divided by 4. Calculator knows that 12 times 8 is equal to minus 96i2 divided by 4. So we can take this to this side. What we will do, we will just kill the decimals. Um, let's kill them. Let's kill the fractions, sorry. 124,8 divided by 4 is equal to 23,2 is equal to um, 14 I2, so this one becomes plus 31,2. 96, comma, sorry, divided by 4 is equal to 24. So we have minus 24 I2. So now we need to take this to this side. So it will change the sign and become negative and subtract on this one. So on this side, we will now have 23 comma 2 minus 31 comma 2 on this side we will be left with 14 i2 minus 24 i2 so let us subtract now the calculator knows that 23 comma 2 minus 31 comma 2 is equal to minus 8. A calculator also knows that um, 14 minus 24 will be the same as minus 10 I2. So we divide both sides by minus 10 to get I2. So we'll have positive I2 equal to 0, 0,8. Yes, 8 divided by 10 must be 0, 0,8. So we know I2 is equal to 0, 0,8 amperes. So if we got I2, we can come and substitute I2 here. So for us to get I1, we will say 10, 4. Um, divided by 4 minus 8 into 0, 0,8 divided by 4. So let's, let's just punch this in a calculator because I don't have space. I1 is equal to, let's punch this. I like this calculator, though I hated it when I was still doing my my, my high school. The reason for that was that this calculator was making me get get sets wrong because it would tell me the answer and now I would battle when when I, I know the answer but I don't know how to arrive to an answer.
so I had to use the different calculator which was sharp so that's how I passed sets wow that's equal to 1 so I1 is equal to 1 amperes so that's it if they would give you this one you would nail it so if you are doing n3 uh, you know that you you've already got marks on kichov's law of current calculations